Okay, here is the deal. Do you want to run an 80 billion or 20 billion model with 100k context on just 8 GB of VRAM? This new tool OLLM might be able to help you out there. And that is what we are going to test in this video. We are going to install this tool locally and I am going to run GPT OSS 20 billion to see how much VRAM it consumes by using this model and we will be going with 100k of context length which is simply a measure of how much data a model can process at one point in time. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Now this tool OLLM is a lightweight Python library for large context LLM inference in very simple words. It is built on Hugging Face Transformer and PyTorch that lets you run models like GPT OSS to 20 billion, Quen3 Next 80 billion and maybe even Llama models with 100k context on just 8 GB of VRAM consumer GPU which, which cost around 200 to 300 US dollar. You can use it in full precision, no quantization like BF16 and that sort of stuff. It achieves this by streaming layer weights from SSD straight to GPU, offloading KV cache to SSD and layers to CPU when needed and it uses flash attention too with online softmax plus chunked MLP so the full attention metrics and large intermediates are never materialized. Don't worry, the last sentence I know this is for machine learning engineers, but I am going to unpack this in very simple words later down the road. For now, let's get this installed. I am going to choose this Ubuntu system and I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM, but we will check how much VRAM it consumes, whether it consumes around 8 GPU or goes above it. Let me create a virtual environment and if you are looking to rent a GPU, or VM or CPU on very very affordable price. You can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. Okay, let's go back to see where it is. Okay, let me git clone the repo of OLLM and I'm also going to put the link in video's description. I'm just going to go back here and I'll just go and put it on the root. Okay, that's much better and then we need to install all the prerequisites which are quite a few so this is going to take a couple of minutes while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent that is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and you will find their link in video's description and everything is now installed. Okay, now for the inference, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this code, which is present in their repo. But even before I do that, let's try to understand what this code is doing, because at the end of the day, all we are doing, we are doing an inference where we are just asking it this question, that list planets, that's it. So, we are not really interested in checking out models performance. We are interested in how OLLM is reducing the VRAM footprint plus how much it is going to consume. So for that, let's try to understand this. So first line, you can see it is importing the OLLM classes we are going to use, which we have just installed for inference and streaming. Then we are creating an inference object to run the GPT OSS 20 billion model. You can use Quen3 Next 80 billion or any other Llama model. After that, this uh, line number three, it is loading the model from hugging face. And then next line, the offload one, this optionally keeps two model layers in CPU RAM instead of GPU VRAM to save GPU memory. And then next one, the past key values one, the line number five, it stores the attention memory, which is basically KV cache on disk. So long context fit. Now, if you have a short prompt, just you can set it to none. So if you know that the VRAM, highly speaking, there are two things which reside in VRAM of GPU. One is models widths and the other one is the KV cache, which primarily is a long history of your chat or inference tokens. It just appends just to maintain the context what it is dealing with. So that it is going to offload it to 
सीपीयू डेस्क और सीपीयू पी रैम और वट एवर नाउ नेक्स्ट अप वी आर स्टोरिंग द के वी कैश ऑन द डेस्क एंड देन टेक्स स्ट्रीमर दिस इज वेयर वी आर सेटिंग अप अ स्ट्रीमर टू प्रिंट टोकन एज दे आर जनरेटेड सो दैट वी डोंट रीप्रिंट द प्रॉम्प्ट एंड वी जस्ट कीप द स्पेशल टोकन एंड देन देर इज अ मैसेज इज विच इज अ चैट स्टाइल प्रॉम्प्ट द सिस्टम इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड अ यूजर रिक्वेस्ट विच इज लिस्ट प्लान एंड देन वी आर कन्वर्टिंग दोज मैसेज इन टू टोकन आई डी इज यूजिंग द मॉडल चैट टेम्पलेट वी आर मूविंग दैम टू जी पी यू इफ आई जस्ट टेक यू टू द एंड दिस इज टू डिवाइस इज मूविंग इट टू द जी पी यू डिवाइस एंड देन फ्राम देयर वी आर गेटिंग द आउटपुट बिकॉज वी आर जस्ट जनरेटिंग फाइव हंड्रेड मैक्स न्यू टोकन यूजिंग द डिस्क बैक्ड के वी कैश एंड स्ट्रीमिंग आउटपुट एंड दैट इज वेयर यू सी दैट वी हैव गिवन इट ऑल द की वैल्यूज and then we are getting the answer and then we are printing it out that is what it is doing now if you really closely look in simple words what i was telling you about what this primarily is doing o l l m is keeping gpu memory light by only loading what is needed as shown in this code and what it does is it reads each layer's weights which is a learned number of model uh, learned number of the model directly from your fast drive which is ssd into the gpu just in time instead of keeping the whole model in vram and the model's running nodes like its kv cache key value that remembers prior tokens for attention are parked on ssd2 and some layers can sit in the computer's main memory which is ram if space is tight and as far as i can tell i don't think so it is using virtual memory which means it doesn't get swap swapped out to the disk it all remains in the ram if space is tight um of course for the heavy uh, you know steps it uses flash attention with online softmax which computes attention in small tiles and calculates probabilities on the fly so a giant attention matrix never has to be built in memory and these are the things which it does um there are few other things which it does around feed forward parts like mlps where it processes big intermediate results in chunks and so on and so forth but that is the main idea behind it that it keeps gpu memory light by only loading what is needed enough theory don't get bored let's try to run this i'm just going to copy my app.py script in this directory and now i am going to run this and you can see that now it is downloading the full model which is the zip format from some s3 bucket it is it doesn't download it from hugging face it seems so let's wait for it to get downloaded and now it is unpacking the model i think it is unzipping it at the moment so make sure that you have that much space on your disk and there you go so the gpt oss has been loaded onto gpu plus cpu and let's quickly check the vram consumption so it is just staying under 8 gig of vram how good is that and there is no out of memory errors and stuff this is really cool and it is still loading the layers so let's wait it is going to be slow um it is not going to be high at all and there you go so planets are coming up it is still do doing that feed forward pass around that uh, with the next token prediction i think then it is going to do the back propagation the gradients will be reduced and then the loss will be calculated and it is going to give us the proper answer and the memory is still staying under 8 gig of vram and i think it is just generating 7 to 8 or 6 tokens per second it's quite slow and you see now it is listing all the planets like mercury venus earth and that sort of stuff if i check the vram consumption still under 8 gig of vram so this is it i will let it print uh, and crawl through but i think pretty good uh, look this is not going to happen overnight that you won't get low vram consumption with a blazing fast speed but a very good start very happy with it that multiple companies in open source and even in closed source are trying to make these llms and vllms accessible um to the common people which could be run on consumer gpu always always very supportive of that let me know what do you think 
please like the content and subscribe to the channel and if you're interested in fine-tuning gpt oss or installing it in full on one gpu uh, with a better speed of course then maybe give it uh, these videos a try and again please please support the channel thank you for all the support